I don't care what anybody says. Nobody gets pregnant holding hands. You got to get intimate with Jesus. You can't just be around him. You got to receive him. And just because you received him at one time doesn't mean you're living by the same. This life is a life of receiving him. You cannot get pregnant by telling yourself you are pregnant. Go ahead and try it. I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. You'll never get pregnant. And this is what we got with positive confessions. And just speak it out, man. Just speak it out. You'll get it. I'm holy, I'm holy, I'm holy. No, no, no. Listen. It's not going to work. Com try to convince yourself as much as you want. You need intimate communion with Jesus. You need his presence installing his voice and you will change. See, the presence satisfies you, but the word changes you. Because once that thing that created the world enters into you, it will affect you forever. He spoke and it was. When he speaks to you, you become. God is far more interested in trying to get you to become something than do something. Because when you become it, it's effortlessly flowing out of you and you just are. And this is what Jesus wants, to be the firstborn among many brethren. He's bringing many sons to glory. You know what else? You can't get pregnant by desire. Just because you want to be pregnant doesn't mean you can get pregnant like that. There's a lot of people longing and longing and longing for Jesus. I'm just so hungry for Jesus, I'm so hungry. Well, go get alone. Get in the sweetness of his blissful presence and let him speak to you and you'll become pregnant with his, his realities. How many times have you met someone like that? They're so fervently hungry, but they never change. Nobody gets pregnant by desire. Nobody gets pregnant by telling themselves they're pregnant. Listen, I can memorize what to expect when expecting. Anybody know what that book is? 500 page heavy book about what to expect when you're expecting you can go ahead and memorize that book you still won't get pregnant and you got people like crazy memorizing the scriptures and trying to get pregnant with God's purposes to birth and the earth by reading the Bible itself no 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 no. the outer shell of the scriptures must be cracked for that which is on the inside to come out that's what you need that's what I need every single day of my life and if a day goes by when I don't have it, I feel like I'm dying. I've said it to the Lord so many times. If I go, if I go time, it's just, time is just going by and I, I got to rush and I don't have that, I don't break in that time to be with him. I literally have said to the Lord, I've gone away to a, to a place where no one can see me. And I said, Jesus, I just feel like I'm dying. I just, I literally feel like life is leaving me because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Not proceeded, but it's coming and always is coming. He's continually breathing his life into you so that you can live by it. Nobody gets pregnant even by commitment. Did you hear what I said? You can commit yourself and resolve yourself to Christ all you want. You still have to get alone with him and experience him. Because experiential union comes by experiential fellowship, period. No other way. In the beginning, when God created the world, how did he do it? Well, the presence of the Spirit was there, and then he spoke. And that thing which is formless and void became inhabitable. Am I right? That thing which was dark got light. That thing which was formless became formed. Many of you in this room, this is not a judgmental thing that I'm saying to you. I'm just giving you a directive to show you where to go. You don't know what God's got for you. You're not even sure. You feel kind of like blobbing around. Like, I don't even know what I'm called to or what I'm supposed to do with my life. Let me tell you where you're going to find that, where you're gonna find your forming, where you're gonna find the, the light come on in your life. You gotta get in his presence. And in the presence, you receive his voice. And then you live by the power and the strength that comes from another world in this world. That's the Christian life. And anybody that tells you it's anything other than that has banked on something more than experiential fellowship with Jesus. And I don't ever wanna be in that boat. 
I've had people tell me that all you got to do is know your identity in Christ and you'll find a whole new level of success. All you got to do is recognize grace. You have to recognize these things and then you'll get to a whole new level and God, no, 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 no. I'm not banking on anything but my experience with Jesus. If I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket, you know what it's going to look like? It's going to look like his presence and his voice. And if it ain't there, I don't want it. And if there's a church that does not have presence and voice, I don't want it. If there's a people that don't have presence and voice, I don't want it. I want your presence, Jesus. And I want your voice. There's no other reason why I live. And I'm asking you now, my Father, to come upon your people in such a great way that their lives will be filled with ease. He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yes, we will go through trials and tribulations, but you and I have the ability to be pulled up out from the oppressions of this life. If we don't have that, what salvation? If you don't have the ability to get removed out from underneath the influence of the oppressions of this life, what do you have? You don't have anything. You got nothing without it. Nothing without it.